Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Look how absolutely incredible these action figures look after we unbox them. You're not gonna wanna miss this awesome review and unboxing of all these incredible action figures. Just so outstanding, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So guys, um, every one of these is absolutely amazing and they're from so long ago. Some of them are almost 20 years old. Give us a big thumbs up if you like Spider-Man. And what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right. Now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super God, is this great! All right, friends, now that we've done these three incredible Toy Biz action figures, what do you say we do these two to kind of go hand in hand? Now, this one's the obvious choice because it's from the first Spider-Man movie, but it came out with a set of these from Spider-Man 3 and of course that's Green Goblin right there so this is Green Goblin right here and since um, there's not a direct Spider-Man um, 1 movie action figure that we have here because this is from Spider-Man 3 but it's essentially the same suit so why don't we do these two to complement these three but uh, I will say this these are not going to be in scale to these they'll be slightly smaller because these are essentially a precursor and um, and around the same time as the original Marvel Legends. So they're gonna be about that that size, more of like the six inch figure size. And these will be a slightly smaller. But you'll see that as we get them open. So um, what do you say? Absolutely. So let's jump ahead to, which one do you wanna do first? Let's do the Spider-Man, what do you say? Okay, great. So, jumping into Spider-Man. Now again, as I mentioned before, this is from the Spider-Man 3 um, set. This is how much we did pay for it because it was um, no longer new. This was from a comic book store and this is how much it was apparently worth. And this one came out 2006, 2007 when the third movie had come out. And so obviously this is, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old going on that time frame really coming up real soon but um, look how great this action figure looks and this is more of a basic figure so we'll say that so it doesn't have it has quite a bit of articulation I will say for a basic figure but it's not a full-blown Marvel legend so spider-man was super articulated uh, super articulated with wall hanging web and this is Hasbro with this great looking sticker right here and great looking packaging and let's see what the back says this one definitely has a long write up here to get you all hyped up about this figure. And look, here's other um, action figures in the set. And I know we have this one that we're gonna open just a little bit. I think we still need to collect these two. But again, they were not cheap since I'm buying them way well after they came out. So um, let's see what it says. Back here it says, and, and first of all, this packaging is gorgeous. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So it says, Spider-Man, super articulated with wall hanging web. Spider-Man has faced some tough battles in his life as a superhero, but never anything like this. Three villains out for revenge have come to New York, intent on taking down the friendly neighborhood wall crawler. Zipping between buildings on super strong web lines, Spider-Man is in the fight of his life and he'll need every last bit of his super strength and web slinging skill to make it out alive. And that looks great. Look at this. Detailed, highly posable figure. I will say this is not the most flattering shot. <laughs> and figure clings to the web and the web attaches to some walls and windows with that suction cup. So, all right, let's get it open. And then uh, I did open this um, just recently. So I kind of did the same thing, opened it up down here, pulled it here, and then um, this had tape, so I was able to open this here. So I'm just gonna slide this on out. With this, this web looks attached back here. 
and I don't want to destroy the package. You've been watching our channel for a while, you know that I don't want these action figures to break by just being loose in a box somewhere. I want to keep them in their original package because it's the best way to store them. Okay, that looks really cool. I'll set this aside and look at this web. This web looks pretty crazy, look at that. And look at these suction cups, you can peel it off there. It's got four of them. And let's get our hero out. So, this is kind of a thick plastic actually. So I was just gonna push them in, but it's not as wimpy of a plastic as we've seen with newer action figures and as thin. So, let's bring this further down. And look how this looks. The paint looks a little bit more rushed than we would have imagined, but still looks good overall. Okay, the head tilts and turns, and there's not a great level of articulation on this head. It's just probably just a ball joint back there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna apply pressure into the joint so I don't just crack anything off, especially because the action figure is not new. It's been around for a while. so. We definitely can turn the arms pretty well. They do not go straight down. They still angle out. And look at this. The joint for the for the shoulder is actually really smooth and holds well and turns the upper part of the bicep. Look at that. But it does hit right here. Look at this. The tricep, if you have it too close to the body, look at that, and it pushes off on it. We do have double joints at the elbows, so that's great, but it still only comes into maybe not even a 45 degree angle. Now the tough part is it doesn't turn at the wrist. I would like it to be able to turn like this. And so unfortunately it just goes back and forth, which makes it difficult to pose, look at that. Because in order to have the wrist down this way, that would be awkward to have your arm like that, but still, uh, still cool. Um, double joints right here at the elbow and the arm does stay pretty well. Now that's a little, lower than we would have liked this to be bending, but all right, looks okay. Definitely going for that web sling in action and turns right there. So that looks cool. Bring it down there, go web, go. This would have been nice if it bent here at the wrist, not in this extra, it looks a little awkward there, kind of. Okay, so um, this red and the silver, look good um, he does not turn at the waist he instead turns here like right below the rib cage but it kind of pivots when it turns look at that look down and so it does turn like this um, and then the legs they have this style of joint right here look at this so they do go all the way out so you can do the splits but um, as far as them coming forward it does not come all the way um, forward straight. It would have to, because it would hit right here, um, they have to go out a little bit because if they're straight, they only come that far in. Now, if we take a closer look right here, they do not move at the high part of the thigh. And because they're not directly Marvel Legends style, they are more basic figure. Although they have all these joints, um, it doesn't have quite that articulation. So we do have a double joint at the knee, which is awesome. And it does turn there, so wow, look at that. That's great. And then we do have a single joint on the on the um, ankle, but it only goes back and forth, and unfortunately it doesn't turn. So um, I'm definitely digging the, the texture on the blue, and then overall the texture here for the Spider-Man logo. Look how great that looks. It looks absolutely outstanding. So you can see what this figure looks like. Okay, great. And so this is intended for him to be able to grab on to here, which obviously we can do. Look at this. So we can definitely do that. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's showing here on the picture or down here. But, um, not a whole lot of practical uses because it would look like this. Or I guess we could turn it around and we could have it hang like this. There we go. I mean, that could be something. Look at that. 
So, cool. But I'm going to go ahead and put this up for now. Put this back where it came from. And make sure I put it well. There we go. Set that aside. And then I'm going to compare him in size to this Mary Jane that we have over here. That way you can see how it's not necessarily in scale really. And this one's definitely, obviously, thin and small. And there we go. <laughs> Let's have him stand up next to her. And we'll have her stand up next to him. That way you can see the scale of these two. So these basic figures are significantly shorter. There you go. But still cool and obviously they're from different sets. So just something to keep in mind. All right, awesome. Oop. Go ahead and set her up here. And let's see uh, what we can do as far as getting a, a decent pose here. Let me put this up and then get him in a pose. Okay, so something very simple, but um, there we are. Now I could pose him upside down and all sorts of things, but I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. And we can have that kind of dynamically. We can turn him right there, look at that. Look at how standing too. I'm like, let's have him like kind of like in a crazy dynamic pose, look at that. Very cool, look at that. So, I'm digging that. And that's our Spider-Man. Right there, perfect. Like, you know what? You could be really upsetting uh, Jameson by doing this right here on his desk, look at that. And then he's just mad in the background, look at that. And I wonder if I turn his head, if it will look even sillier. Get this going right here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Very cool. Okay, so what do you say we move on to our green goblin? Okay, awesome. Give me a second, guys. 